this is the annexure one screen like in chalan screen here also at the top right corner you can see two buttons insert row and delete row as in chalan screen the first thing you have to do here is to insert rows using the insert row button then only you will be able to enter any data in this screen but how to know how many rows to insert what is the basis for deciding that the basis is the number of directees that is the total number of employees from whose salary tax was deducted during the quarter in all the bills put together even if employee name repeats in different bills it should be counted separately for each bill to elaborate suppose we assume that in the first bill there are five employees for whom tds was done and in the second bill there are 10 employees for whom tds was done and in the third bill there are 15 employees for whom tds was done during the quarter then the total number of rows to be inserted will be 30 that is 5 plus 10 plus 15 as you see here it won't matter that some employee names figure in all the three bills for each bill his or their names should be counted separately and accordingly rows should be inserted is it clear in my example i have assumed that in january bill tax was deducted for two employees and in february bill tax was deducted for three employees therefore i have to insert five rows let me do that now by clicking the insert row button give five here click okay five rows inserted and let me start entering the data the first column is the chalan serial number if you click the down arrow here you can see that there are only two numbers 1 and 2 from where they come they come from chalan screen we enter two bits there so serial number up to two comes here suppose we enter data for five bits in the chalan screen then serial number up to five will be listed here let me choose serial number 1 from the list here as i had told you earlier in the first bill there are two employees with tds so for the first two rows here i have to choose one as the serial number once i choose the serial number 1 see what happen in these gray columns the data comes automatically from the chalan screen You see here that for both the first two rows, the total is given as thirteen thousand three ninety. That means TDS amount breakup that you will be giving in these two rows should tally with this total of thirteen thousand three ninety. Is it clear? Now let us enter the other columns. In this column, you have to give the serial number starting from one. For the first two rows, the serial number will be one and two. let me enter that did you see the difference between chalan serial number in the first column and the serial number in this column in chalan serial number one is repeated but here in this column for the same chala number serial number is continuing as 1 and 2 before we go on to other columns i want to show you how the delete row button operates here when compared to chalan screen okay in chalan screen if you remember you can delete rows only from the end you can't delete rows from the middle but here you see the difference i am clicking the delete row here Now I want to delete the first row where you can see the serial number is one in column number eleven. Okay, I want to delete that particular row, so I am giving one here. Click OK. You see that row is gone. Now what do you understand from this? In this annexure one screen, suppose after entering twenty or twenty-five rows, 
you find that there is a mistake in row number 10 or 11, you can delete that particular row. You need not start deleting from the last row. Okay? Please note this difference. Now, let us restore it back to the original position. We change it to 1. Give this as 2. Select 1 here. I have to insert the row which I deleted now. So, insert row give one okay now we are back to the original position now let us move on to other columns the first one employee reference number here we can give the employee id number you can move to other columns by pressing the tab button okay we come to pan column. Now this pan column is very important. Okay, you have to ensure that you are entering 10 digits here on the valid and correct pan. Then only the tedious credit will go correctly to the employee. Any mistake here will create a lot of problems for the task director as well as the individual employee. When the TDS returns and individual income tax returns filed by the tax director and the employee respectively are processed. Name of the employee. Date of payment, credit, salary is paid only on the last day of the month. So for January, it will be 31st January 2008. Please note, you have to give the year in full, that is as 2008 and not as 08. Taxable amount on is tax directed. Okay, here you have to give the gross salary for the month and not the net salary. Please note. TDS surcharge. If you are not having any surcharge, you have to give zero here. You should not leave it blank. I am not having any surcharge, so I am putting zero. Education says three percent. Total tax deposited in government. Whatever tax is the deducted the same is deposited there cannot be any difference between these two amounts so total tax deducted is 10,300 same amount is deposited date of deduction say in government the date of payment of salary the date of deduction and the date of deposit in the government account all will be same because the salary is paid on the last day of the month, tax is also directed on the same day and on the same day through book adjustment it is remitted into government account. So for January 